All right, what's up guys? So in what has become somewhat of a regular series on the channel, today we're back with another sticker application video. And if you guys haven't seen one of these videos before, the premise is pretty simple, right? I mean, basically I just wait until I can collect a decent amount of stickers, like 10 to 15, and then we apply them to either some of my favorite units or ones that were suggested by you guys, my subscribers. And there, I'll give you my genuine reaction slash review to, you know, how good the effect actually looks. And I guess the purpose of this series is to help you guys decide if a certain unit is worthy of a sticker or not. Because even though we do get the stickers fairly regularly, we don't get a lot of them. So you definitely don't want to waste it on a unit that has a really trash animation, right? So... Uh, anyways, with all that said, let's jump right into it, and we're going to pop over to the special sticker screen. And uh, obviously, I still have a lot of units that need stickers, and I think the first one we'll start with was uh, one that was suggested by a viewer on my stream yesterday. And that would be for this guy right here, Int Goku Black. Slash Rose. Now I do really like giving stickers to units like this because it's like a two for one deal, right? You're getting two effects for the price of one sticker and uh, I do love a bargain. So I just feel like I'm getting extra value <laughs> for my stickers. So yeah, with that said, let's do it. Here we go. First sticker goes to Int Goku Black, even though he's quite disappointing as a unit. Hopefully his effect is less so okay that's decent that's decent now of course we do have the rosé one and i think the reason people were telling me to give him a sticker was for rosé so i'm gonna say goku black okay i'll give him like a six six out of ten rosé though could be a different story right so before I make too many judgments, let's pop over to the transformation. Oh yeah. Okay, I, I see what they mean. I see what they mean. It's that, it's that pink purple aura around him that really makes this one. So I would give this one like a 8.5. So if you average it out for the entire card, I guess it gets, uh, how does the math work out there? What I say for Goku Black again? Six? So I guess this card gets a 7.25. 7.25? Above average? Okay. So overall, very, very solid effect. I think definitely a card you could feel good about giving a sticker to. I like that, man. I like that. Okay. So now let's move on to the other Rosé. Now this guy is fairly outdated at this point, but he was a beast when he first came out, and we know both him and the Tech Vegito are gonna be getting amazing Extreme Z Awakenings in the future, so I'm sure he will get a lot more use from me. And I've given the Tech Vegito Blue a sticker like since day one, so I think it's time to stop disrespecting him, and we'll give this Rosé a sticker as well. And oh, okay. Yo, that's even better than the Int one. That's even better because I'm yo, I'm a sucker for like the cards that have these like big spike like effects coming from the sides of the screen. You know, like exactly like this. I'm a big fan of that. And then we got the aura behind him too. Um, man, that's clean. That's clean. And his scythe is doing a little a little shimmer too. I just noticed. So it's like three effects going on at once, man. We got the the purple aura in the back. We got the orange in the front with the spikes. And then we have his scythe like kind of doing like a little... It kind of reminds me of one of those lights that's like dying. So it's like flickering. <laughs> I think they could have done a better job with the scythe or done something, you know, with like the aura around the scythe. You know what I mean? But of course, I'm just nitpicking. I think that looks fantastic. I really do, man. This this one gets a solid 8.5. 8.5. Okay, so both Rosés, I think, I think we're good. 
Um, now, now this becomes kind of tricky because I'm not really sure where to go from there. I knew I was going to give the Rosés the stickers, but I don't really know who else deserves that kind of love. And I don't want to make too many, too many mistakes because I feel like in some of the other videos, we had a lot of misses. But on the bright side, we did start with two hits. So it can't, you know, be that bad of a video overall, even if we do miss on a few here. Uh, let's see, let's see. I probably should give one to STR Bojack. Now, I was so excited to pull this guy that I had to give him a sticker immediately. I, I wanted to wait for the video, but I couldn't. Because, like, the way I pulled him, if you guys missed the video, it was crazy. Like, I pulled three of him with my brother. He was the one that actually did it, so credit to him. We pulled three of him back to back to back. So I was like, okay, we gotta throw that sticker on him immediately. But we do have his counterpart, the Int Vegeta, who's missing a sticker. I'm not expecting too much from it. I'm not expecting too much from it, but since I gave the Goku a sticker, I gotta give this guy a sticker too. So let's go ahead and throw that one on him. Once again, not expecting much. It's okay. It's okay. It's kind of the same effect, actually, as... Uh, as the Goku, right? They both got like the, the swirl around them and then obviously the light emanating from the beam in the middle. Um, decent, man. 6.57, maybe, you know, nothing crazy, but not bad, but not bad. Okay, so I feel like this Janemba could have something crazy for us. Maybe, did I give the Int one? Oh, I didn't give the Int one either. He does have that crazy green stuff behind him though. Hmm, maybe we should just get we should just give all three Janemba's effects and see which one's the best. I think that could be good. Okay, so why don't we just go from oldest to newest? We'll start with the int Janemba, who could possibly have the best effect of the three. That's that's where where I would put my money if I were to bet. Ooh, okay. No 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 okay okay okay. So when when we first got the effect, I was like What's going on? There's like not much happening. But if you stare at it for a second, that green behind him is really cool, man. It, it's it's kind of slower than a lot of the other effects, but it's just I like the way it moves. I like the black stuff, like kind of going away from him. It's kind of mesmerizing, man. It really is. It's it's kind of like. Like, I don't want to stop looking at it. <laughs> it's kind of simple, but I really like that. All right, all right. Okay, Int Janemba. Now let's do STR Janemba. See how that goes. Okay, not bad. Not bad. There's not a lot going on here, though. That's the one thing I'm a bit disappointed by. I feel like they could have done more with this one. I feel like they could have done more with this one, but um, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. The effect around the sword, I think, could have been crazier, or just could be more apparent. It's kind of hard to see. You don't really see as much going on there. The main effect is the the swirls or the spikes or what, what do you want to call it. Um, that's all right. That's all right. Okay, moving on to Tech Janemba, who. I have talked a bit of trash about, but he actually clutched the GT Legendary Goku event for me recently. Well, that is really fast. <laughs> Holy crap, that is a little bit too fast, maybe? And that's like the only effect, too, which I, which I don't love. It feels kind of lazy. It feels kind of lazy to me when it's only one effect. To be fair, there are two card arts. But this one, uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't think that was a well-spent sticker. But we'll, we'll check out the Super Janemba. We'll check out the Super Janemba. Uh, transformation. Come on. Transformation. Super Janemba. Come on, man. <laughs> really? They got so lazy with this one. Holy crap. Yo. I want my sticker back for this one. 
I want my sticker back for this one. As I was saying though, Tech Janemba really um, impressed me on GT Legendary Goku event. He was kind of the main reason, or at least a big reason why I was able to get through it with Corroded Body and Mind, so... I do gotta give him some love, and I guess he got that love with the sticker, but the sticker effects... Mm-mm. Not worth, man. Even even the combination of the two effects, I don't think make it makes it worth to me, so... Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to ask uh, for a refund on that one. Um... I've been meaning to give this Goku one, actually. I did give pretty much every other Super Saiyan Blue Goku a sticker. So I feel like I should give this one a sticker, too. Let's go for it, man. He's, he's one of the best non-Dokkan Fest. Oh, hold on. We have the special Goku Day sticker. Okay, let's go for that one. Yeah, I've given almost every other Super Saiyan Blue Goku a sticker effect. And he's also one of the best non-Dokkan Fest EZAs. Um, pretty clean, pretty clean. Okay, doesn't doesn't give me that like wow factor that I got when I first saw you know uh, Omega Shenron for example, the STR one, or Beerus, or Int Metal Cooler. Speaking of which, we should give some some more obscure units, you know, because like Int Metal Cooler, I don't think people really would have thought that he was gonna be crazy, but. He turned out to be one of the best effects in the game. So let's actually show some love to some, I guess, lesser units, if you will. Like, let's see what Topo looks like. We're at the point in the video where I'm just going to start throwing stickers on random units that I use, of course, and see what happens. Uh, that's all right. That's all right. That's all right. 7.5. Seven. Hmm. Hmm. Hold on. I need to stare at it for a second longer just to get the full feel, the full effect. Uh. Seven point five. All right. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, who else? Who else? We gave the Janemba stickers. We gave... Oh, dude, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, man. Super Saiyan 4 Goku got that sticker, like, immediately. I can't disrespect my boy Vegeta like that. Let's, let's give him one, too. Let's give him one, too. Just for fairness sake, you know? Just for fairness sake. Well, okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean... It's a little basic for me. It's a little basic for me, but... As a unit, he deserves it for sure. I mean... Like, just based on performance, based on how good of a unit he is, well-deserved. Could have been better, though. Could have been better, though. Okay, um... Oh, yo. Bojack theme is on. Bojack theme is, theme is on, which means that we're obviously gonna have to give... SDR Bojack, some love too, and of course, we did beat Space Traveling Warriors recently, so I think this should also be his reward for that. And hey, that's not bad. That's not bad. Three effects, three effects, right? Little kind of, um, you know, there's like a different effect on the on the ball in the middle, and then we have kind of like an inward light, and then there's a swirl in the background with the purple. Decent, decent. Let's see what the full power form now looks like. There we go. Pretty similar, pretty similar effects actually. Um, can't complain about that one. I really can't. I've seen much better, but for some reason, it feels like Dokkan Fest units in general don't have great effects, you know? Like, it seems like a lot of the non Dokkan Fest ones are uh, the units that have the best effects. I don't know what it is. I'm not sure why, but that's just how it goes. Um, Let me think. Let me think. Who would have a good effect out of... Oh, is that it? Oh, those are all the units that have stickers. Okay, so... 
yeah, who are we missing that I feel like would actually have a really sweet effect? Uh, maybe I should just get one of the other 120 leads, like Gotenks, for example. Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks should be getting his Extreme Z Awakening relatively soon on Global, so... Oh, oh, hold on. Did I give Cooler? Oh, I gave Cooler one for sure. I definitely gave Fizz Cooler a sticker. Let me just check, actually. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's had one for a while. Look at that, man. That's pretty sweet. That's pretty sweet. Okay. Okay. Um. Maybe. Maybe. Fizz Vegito. Um. What about Int UI? Oh, I already gave him one. Okay. Uh. You know, we should actually look for one that has a big ball. A big ball in the art, because that typically turns out oh like this one oh 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 yo i feel like this one's gonna be super sweet i feel like this one's gonna be super sweet come on don't disappoint me don't disappoint me oh yeah yes yes oh man what did i say it's like these side units that you don't expect anything from that really gave give you the most from these stickers, man. That is beautiful. Wow, that is so nice. I'm telling you, like any any unit, any card with a big ball in the art almost never disappoints. There are exceptions, but for the most part, they almost never disappoint. Wow. That's clean. That is clean. I love it. Two more. We're almost done here. Uh, what about what about Mass Saiyan maybe? Hmm. There's some potential here. There is some potential here. Hmm. Oh, what about PyCon? Maybe we should give PyCon a sticker. Hmm, because we did give Janembo one. And Pycon has those, like, green balls. <laughs> I mean, like, the energy blast. It's got the energy blast, so... Maybe they did something fun with that? We'll find out. We'll find out. Oh! They didn't do anything with the balls! That's a missed opportunity, man. That's a bit. That's a big missed opportunity. Otherwise, eh, I gotta say, it looks okay. It's, it's better than Janemba. It's better than Janemba. Not by a lot, but 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 definitely better. All right. Well, that's that's whatever. Um. Oh, what about this guy? Man, it's between Mass Saiyan and Fusion Zamasu. I use Mass Saiyan more. But at the same time, I feel like Fusion Zamasu could be really good too. Uh -huh, tough choice. Tough, tough choice. What about Beerus? Ah, uh, last one, guys. Last sticker of the video. I want to make sure I get this right. Um, Majin Vegeta. Hmm. Frieza, oh, he has a big ball. He does. It's, he's a big blast here. Um, I don't know. I don't want to screw this up. I don't want to screw this up. I'm gonna go for fusion. Uh, Zamasu. Maybe. Okay, fine. Fusion Zamasu it is. There we go. Was it the right choice? Oh yeah, I would say so. I would say so. That's... That's really good. That's really good. Solid... 8.52.
I feel like the highest score I can give today is an 8.5. Of course, that is a very good score, but unfortunately, I can't go go above that. You know, I would like to give a, you know, a nine, maybe even a ten. I think I have given tens before, very rarely though. Okay, I'm trying to be a fair grader. I'm not trying to, you know, overhype things. So. I think that was a solid choice though. I really do, man. So if you guys are looking to give stickers to any of the Rosés or Fusion Zamasu, I don't think that... Do I have a sticker on the AGL Zamasu? I, I might, I'm not, I'm not really sure though. I feel like the AGL Zamasu kind of disappointed me. Uh, AGL Extreme. Oh, I didn't give a sticker to him. That would have been a 3 for 1 deal. But you know what, I feel like the Tech Trunks Disappointed me so much that, that I probably gave up on him. I gave up on Zamasu because the tech trunks was such a disappointment. Um, but yo, that's the last one, and that that might be my favorite. Oh, no, 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 you know what? My favorite one today was none other than AGL Golden Frieza. Actually, it's kind of close. I don't know. It's kind of close. I, I really liked STR Rosé, too. So, I don't know anymore, actually, I, I, I don't know, I don't know, but guys, let me know in the comments down below, um, which was your favorite from today's video, and uh, also give me some more suggestions for the next video of the series, because once again, apparently this is a running series on the channel now, so I will be back with more until I run out of units to give stickers to, basically, and uh, yeah, that's it, thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button. To join the Tiger Squad now, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.